here are the active modes. I'm still recording, I realize that now. So I'm using pan NPC, DB, S. These are the active plugins actually. So we have a bunch of plugins and then we have the mods. Um, we need to remove the text there. <coughs> so we are using the familiar faces mod, unofficial Skyrim special edition patch, Sky UI 5.2 SC special edition, Sky TST, realistic animals and predators. So, for example, if you do not use this, then the wolves will be extremely aggressive and fight to death. But if you use this, the wolves will act more like real wolves and other animals too. So they will attack when they are many and flee if they are one. And if they are many in the beginning and you kill two or so, then the third one will flee. So that it's more realistic, but less uh, animals put up less of a fight and flee more often most of the time, unless it's a tiger or something, Th then it will fight to the death, but uh, if it's a wolf, they will flee when they are few in numbers, <coughs> instead of being extremely aggressive and fight to the death, Skyrim Unbound Reborn, Skyrim Script Extender, SKSE 64, RSSE Children Overhaul, 1.1.3, with hotfix, it uh, makes children look better in the game had very ugly models in the original game. Relationship dialogue overhaul, <coughs> race menu, which allows us to do all those uh, stuff uh, when we create the race. It was, it's a much better menu compared to the original game. We have the Papyrus U Utility a for Anniversary Edition, Special Edition. <coughs> script and utility functions and penorables uh, non-playable characters Dragonborn special edition pan NPCs males pan NPCs Don Guard UCSEP pan NPCs Nemesis Unlimited Behavior Engine KS Hados SSE Clayable Children Who Needs It Children in, in the original game you couldn't kill them you know, if you cut with the sword against a kid. Yeah, nothing happened and they started to run away. <coughs> so that's very unrealistic. So I have that mode. Uh, G containers, uh, special edition, immersive uh, sounds com compendium, compendium 3.0, immersive horses. It allows us to custom hor uh, customize horses and uh, spawn horses to us and uh, make sure that all our followers have horses too. Immersive citizens, AI overhaul, it also changes how horses work, make them more important. Uh, okay, and you can fight from horses, you can speak from horses, you can loot from horses, in, in the original you couldn't do that. Uh, we have the immersive citizens, it adds a lot of citizens to the different areas of Skyrim, including the cities and towns that walk around that you can speak to. Immersive Amazing Follower Tweaks, it's uh, like EFF, the Expanded Follower uh, Tool, but uh, Framework Tool, but uh, this one is better. Follower Commentary Overhaul, Special Edition, adds like a lot of additional dialogue to the followers. Expressive Facial Animations, Male Edition and Female Edition, They uh, all the characters have more expressions in their faces it improves the graphics uh, and such animations uh, enhanced blood textures adds a lot of blood uh, so blood splatter and such in battles and when people get beheaded and such diverse dragons collection diverse dragons in the game cutting room floor it added a bunch of cut content from that the special edition cut that we are in the original skyrim game from 2011. Uh, and we have Calanthus Beautiful Bodies Enhancer, CBB, which uh, adds more beautiful bodies for men and women. Uh, body Slide and Outfit Studio allows us to customize bodies more. I didn't use nearly all of the customizable options we could have used. Some people enjoy creating characters and do, do it with extreme detail, and this helps with that. 
that's more options for the race menu. Uh, BGN Vives, War Maidens, etc. That, uh, that's uh, much better models for the followers and females of the game, the vanilla ones. They look much worse before this, these mods. Uh, BGN Skin, CBBE, is, uh, it's like an improvement to, to, to the bodies. And we have the BGN NPCs Special Edition 1.2.1. And Bella Edges Animal and Creature Pack Special Edition. It uh, improved the textures and models of all the creatures in the game. How to unequip ammo. Uh, all in one ad all in one address library it was needed to make stuff work. Skyrim immersive creatures. That's uh, many more new creatures to Skyrim. Okay. We need to start this and we need to shut down Skyrim otherwise we can't start it. For some reason it's still running here even after exiting the game. So we need to find Skyrim SM. I saw it in the beginning but it moves all the time so you need to be fast at clicking on it or it will move away and you need to spend some time finding the right process here. You need to shut it down or you can't start the game. Because the, the computer thinks that the game is already running. Skyrim. Annoying. There, I saw it. So I found it. Off, so I will shut it down. All right, and I fixed the issue with immortal heroes by removing the, the lines here. It made any character in the game killable, which I liked, but. I don't want it for certain missions because when you beat them up they will die instead of just uh, falling down on their knees. We will only use it when we are at questioning. Uh, on quests, I mean. We won't use it when we are doing missions in cities and such. Okay, let's see here. We'll start up the game again. Uh, 